Leetcode 1365. How many numbers are smaller than the current number? Given in a, the array of nums for each nums i, find out how many numbers in the array are smaller than it. That is, for each number i, you have to count the number of valid blah blah blah. That's kind of confusing. Okay, so the number 8. The number 8, for the number 8, there are four numbers smaller than it. For the number 1, there are no numbers smaller than it. For the number 2, there is one number smaller than it. Number 2, one number smaller than it. For the number 3, there are three numbers smaller than it. The next example. Number six, there are two numbers smaller than it. For number five, there's one number smaller than it. For four, there are no numbers smaller than it. And then for eight, there are three numbers smaller than it. And for seven, there are no numbers smaller than it. All right, so um, let's talk about this problem. Uh, let's talk about kind of the the solution. So basically uh, for the solution we're going to use a frequency array. What is a frequency array? This is um, a frequency array represents the number of frequencies for a given number. How do you know what's a given number? It's the index. So index 0, index 1 corresponds to this one and the way you look at how many numbers are smaller than it? You look at the num. Okay, let's look at this final one. So for index uh, eight, there are four numbers smaller than it. It's right here. It's kind of hard to read. Let's just look at one. For value one, there are no numbers smaller than it. For two, there is one number smaller than it. And for two, this second two, there is still one number smaller. Than, okay, let's see what's going on. That was kind of confusing. So first, let's populate um, yeah, the frequency array. So at index zero, there's zero frequencies, occurrences of zero. At, so for one, there's one occurrence. And then at index two, there are two occurrences. For three, index three, there's one occurrence, zero. For four, five, six, wait, so this is three, zero for four, for five, for six, for seven, one for eight. Okay, so this is your basic uh, frequency array. Once you have your basic frequency array, yeah, this thing is true, then you want to get the, uh, the, what I call cumulative sum. So at zero, you just kind of add up everything before it, which is going to be zero. At one, you add up everything before it, which is going to be one. At two, you add up everything that's going to be before it, including itself, sorry, before it and itself. So that's three. Here is four, so on and so forth. And then at index eight, you have five, but then the numbers are less than it are four. Okay, so that's basically uh, the gist, the visual of what the solution is. So step one is to populate, oh, I guess we have to talk about the frequency array. How do you know um, how to build this, the size of the frequency array? Why do we have 101? Because the constraint says the number i, I guess that's the value, the value will be between 0 and 100, and 100, including 100. So 1 through 100 is 100 numbers. 0 is 101 numbers. So index 0, index 0 through index 100, total 101 length. So that's, that's that. And then we build our result array. Our result array is only going to be size of nums 
self-explanatory. Okay, so step one is populate the frequency array. We want to map a frequency to an index or a value. And then we and then step two is, is to process, get the cumulative sum. There's do some processing, get the cumulative sum. And then step three, we want to populate the result array. I kind of want to start with this. This is pretty straightforward. So at first, um, at first it was simply boom. For a result, because I'm populating my result array, I want to populate the frequency array. And because I know that cumulative sum is the number that's before it, I do this. But what if nums uh, at i gives me zero? Then I'm going to do frequency of index negative one. I'm out of range, so I want to handle that. So what does it mean when nums of zero is zero? Nums of zero uh, is zero. What? Where in the frequency array do I want? Do I want? Do I want to go to? Well, I know that pretty much if nums at index i gives me zero, then I want to go to frequency array zero. I don't want to do this. So that's where this this comes in. So yeah, it's just going to be, the result is just going to be zero. So that's straightforward. Uh, next, yeah, I guess we can work backwards. So talking about the cumulative sum, the cumulative sum is always everything in the past plus so what my value right now is everything in the past which is the previous which is the previous value so plus equals means so it's like I guess that's math and probably it's kind of confusing freak r plus that. So the current value of where I'm at is itself plus everything in the past, which is going to be stored in here. So that's why I can just do a plus. And then, so now, yeah, let's talk about how do you populate the frequency array? This is really, this was really confusing for me. So first, um, I'm only, I only need to populate everything that's in nums, they're original. And so no, I'm just saying, I'm going to go through everything in nums. Eight, one, two, two, three. Go in order, and just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to call that number. Eight, one, two, two, three. And so I know that for frequency array, at index eight, um, I want to set the frequency to something, the value of something. So it kind of looks like this. The result of frequency 8 equals 0 plus 1, because originally when I initialize, it's going to be 0. And then I add, I add 1 to it. That's what plus plus does. Whatever was there, just add 1 to the value. A little shorthand. So, yeah, I guess, I guess that's about it. That's how you populate the frequency array. Um, yeah, I do find this a little bit confusing. I guess I could have, could have done something like frequency array at number equals frequency array at number, whatever that value is, plus one. So originally it's going to be zero. So let's say we're at index i, which is zero, corresponds to num8. I go to num8, I look in the frequency array, it's going to be nothing, and I add 1 to it. So plus plus, then same thing. So that's pretty much it. Um,
main thing is learn to use the frequency array, learn to populate it, because basically the frequency array is some number. Usually it's index. Ah, that's the tricky thing. Usually index is what goes here, but it's a number, and that number also acts as an index. So I guess I could write this as number as index. Number. And just to verify it, let's do this. Boom, all right, cool, that's it for now.